Smart contracts are nothing new. Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, all provide smart contracts that run on the blockchain when predetermined conditions are met. For example, the execution of an agreement or the purchase of an NFT. But for those smart contracts to work, all the data must be on chain. So what about the tremendous amounts of data that is stored off chain in centralized databases across the internet? Well, that's what makes this project so unique. It's a decentralized network that provides data and information from off blockchain sources to on blockchain smart contracts. The project I'm talking about is Chainlink. So today we're gonna to be talking about Chainlink and its native cryptocurrency token Link as we go over how it essentially reshaped the way blockchain networks think about data. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Mark Thompson from CryptoMade, and today we're gonna to be covering Chainlink along with its various use cases and solutions it delivers. But before we go too far into the video, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you always get alerted when I post upcoming videos. Keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This content is used for educational and informational purposes only. It's important to talk to a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. There's a few things that you need to know just so you can fully understand Chainlink's functionality a bit easier. The first is smart contracts. As I mentioned before, these are programs that are stored on the blockchain, which run when specific conditions are met. They are utilized to automate the execution of agreements so that all participants can be certain of the outcome without the involvement of an intermediary. The second is blockchain oracles. These are devices or entities that connect a blockchain network to data that exists outside of it. They can enter every data input through an external transaction and be sure that the blockchain contains all the information. They have also been dubbed blockchain middleware and they are the bridge between the two worlds. So what's unique to Chainlink is they can replace the requirement of traditional legal agreements or any centralized automated digital agreement. The main limitation surrounding smart contracts historically was the fact that they're all built on different individual blockchains, which meant that they could not really communicate with information outside of a specific network that they were programmed for. What this means is that traditionally speaking, smart contracts only work with data that is contained within their blockchain. The severe limitation is that smart contracts cannot access real world data. This is where Chainlink shines. As I mentioned previously, it does indeed add a higher level of utility to these contracts. And this is done through the utilization of oracles. Chainlink is a decentralized Oracle network that connects blockchains to real world data sets, which are not by default developed on a blockchain. Any information that's not blockchain native can essentially be communicated to the blockchain just by the use of an Oracle. You might be asking yourself, how does this actually work? So let's take a look. Chainlink bridges off-chain and on-chain resources. So there needs to be an on-chain infrastructure and an off-chain infrastructure. Off-chain resources are Oracle nodes that exist outside of the Chainlink network but are still connected to the external blockchain. A majority of the work here is done by the off-chain oracles when they collect the data requested by the user. And then it passes through what is known as a chain link core. This core is software responsible for the creating of a connection between the off-chain data and the chain link network. This core can then retrieve the processed data and deliver it to the on-chain oracle. The on-chain oracle then considers the user's request for the off-chain data submitted to the blockchain and processes it after it gets routed into the smart contract. Then there's the link token, which is the platform's native cryptocurrency. It's used as a means of payment for the operators within the system. The value as well as the demand for these link tokens is derived from the node operators that are available to provide off-chain services. Now you might be wondering how all this can be used in the real world, specifically for use cases not natively developed on top of blockchain technology. Well, Chainlink can be used in many industries for retail or bank payment information that can trigger a smart contract and utilize the functionality of the blockchain. They can also be used for location data when it comes to supply chain tracking, where each movement can trigger a smart contract and log the data. They can even be used to retrieve weather data, which can calculate premiums in the field of insurance. It's important to note that Chainlink does not have its own native blockchain, but integrates with multiple blockchains simultaneously and provides all of them with up-to-date information streams. However, its native cryptocurrency token Link is powered by the Ethereum blockchain and follows the ERC-667 standard, which is an extension of the ERC-20 standard. This means that you can store the cryptocurrency on any wallet that supports Ethereum-based tokens. Now here's my personal take. Chainlink was developed to solve an issue that sounds simple, but is quite complicated on the back end. This is to solve blockchains being unable to access data outside of the network. Through the usage of decentralized oracles, or more specifically, an entire decentralized oracle network, every independent node or oracle in the network 
can independently retrieve data from an off-chain source and bring it on-chain, which results in a high level of security and reduces the majority of the security risks. Chainlink enables its users to have a choice when it comes to their independent network of nodes, which can connect the real-world data on blockchains and give smart contracts superpowers in a way. However, due to the fact that its network does not have its own native blockchain, its performance could be impacted by the underlying blockchain or blockchains. While the project does utilize smart contracts, its success will be dependent on the relevancy of its usage. In other words, its future value and utility will be dependent on if it's required in a project or not. I believe it's in the top 30 crypto projects in terms of market cap because of its unique ability to take centralized data and move it on chain. I think the future looks extremely bright for Chainlink as we see more institutions and businesses looking to take their data and move it to the blockchain. So what about you? Have you invested into the Link cryptocurrency yet? If you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more breakdowns on other crypto projects, including updates on everything that's going on in the industry.